everyone. I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We had another busy week of racing with 10 drivers seeing action, so let's get right to the results. Anthony Alfredo was at Nashville Super Speedway for the Alley 400 in his number 38 Speedco Loves Travel Center Ford Mustang. Anthony qualified 18th and turned in a solid day of racing inside the top 15 for most of the race, eventually finishing in 17th. Let's check in with Anthony for a race recap. Awesome top 20 for our Front Row Motorsports team and our Speed Co. Ford Mustang here at Nashville Super Speedway. Never been here before. It's actually been 10 years since the series raced here, but we had a great, uh, great time. It's really hard, fought a couple things, but nobody gave up and we got our uh, Mustang a lot better come the end of the race and we're able to bring it home 18th. So really happy about that. We had to save a lot of fuel to make it happen. I actually ran out of fuel off of turn four and lost two spots. So we are 16th and I ran out coming to the line. I got passed by two cars, but still an awesome day. Can't thank everyone enough. Appreciate everyone's support and I'm looking forward to the next one. What he would have given for another cup of gas. Up next for Anthony, twin races on the Tricky Triangle at Pocono Raceway on June 26th and 27th. Sheldon Creed was also at Nashville Super Speedway for the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series Rackley Roofing 200 and his number two liftkitsforless.com Chevrolet. Sheldon qualified 24th and brought home a 14th place finish. Up next for Sheldon, Pocono Raceway on June 26th. Check out this paid scheme for this weekend. Sheldon will team up with Chaos for Kindness. They call that a spotter's dream. Jesse Love was back in the 21 Wimmer Motorsports Toyota Super Late Model at the famed Milwaukee Mile. Jesse was fastest in final practice and qualified seventh. Jesse ran in the top 10 for the first 20 laps, then slowly started to move towards the front, but the race was called early due to rain and he finished sixth. Up next for Jesse, Dell's Raceway Park on June 26th for more super late model racing. Caden Honeycutt, who's coming off a win at Langley Speedway, was at Dominion Raceway for the Cars Tour Radley Chevrolet 125. Caden qualified fifth, ran in the top five for the entire race, and brought home a third place finish. His third top five finish in his last three starts. Let's check in with Caden for a post-race recap. Hey everybody, it's Caden Honeycutt here, back from Dominion Raceway uh, in, from Virginia and ended up finishing third uh, on Saturday night, uh, qualified fifth and had a great, had great speed all weekend. Uh, we just kept on improving and we just chose the wrong strategy in the race, uh, just trying to save tires and it just didn't really work out for us. Got damaged really early on on lap three and just caved the right front fender in on the tire and I think it hurt us a little bit, uh, error wise and error wise. We just got stuck behind two cars right there at the end and Unfortunately, couldn't get up uh, two spots better, but we did a really good job. Can't thank Justin Johnson Racing, Jason Stanley, RNS Race Cars, Marcus Richmond, my family, uh, everybody that supports me on this deal, Greg Harper, uh, just all my sponsors, Race Face, Fens with Jacqueline, and everybody that's just been involved in my career to get me to this point. And just had uh, just an amazing last couple of weeks that we've had in the Cars Tour. Uh, so we're going to enjoy this weekend. and. I might race this race car on Saturday, a uh, dirt late model, but I haven't decided yet. I do have my birthday this weekend, so I might just enjoy myself with that. But um, I'll update that with everybody else here shortly. But uh, just can't thank everybody for a great couple of weeks and a couple of races in car store. Two points behind in the championship now. So a, a big gap that we have closed from the start of the season. And uh, we're just going to go. And uh, July 31st, we'll be back for car store at Hickory Motor Speedway. See you guys then. Caden currently sets second in points, only two back from leader Bobby McCarty. Up next for Caden, the Honeywell home throwback 276 at Hickory Motor Speedway on July 31st. But I'm sure there will be some dirt late model races to be announced this week. Joe Valento was also at Dominion Raceway, making his seventh start for David Gilliland Racing in his number 17 Friends of Jacqueline Ford Mustang. Joe qualified 17th, ran mid-pack most of the race, worked his way up to 10th on lap 61, 
but just could not find long run speed and had to settle for a 14th place finish. Let's check in with the driver for his take on the race weekend. Hey guys, Joe Valento, just wrapped up here at Dominion Raceway, ended up with the top 15 finish. Learned a lot of valuable lessons about the car and how to run on the high speed bank tracks such as this one. Uh, we're going to be on a little bit of a break now until July 31st when we go back to Hickory Motor Speedway. So I'll take this time to kind of reflect on the first half of my season and uh, hopefully come out swinging the second half. Would have liked to thank everyone that makes this possible. Uh, David Gillen Racing, Ford Performance, Nitro Lubricants, Napa Auto Parts, the French Jackman Foundation, and Race Face Brand Development. Up next for Joe, Honeywell Home Throwback 276 at Hickory Motor Speedway on July 31st. Grant Thompson made his debut in the Cars Tour at Dominion Raceway and showed speed right out of the box putting down an impressive qualifying lap in fourth. However, Grant had an issue when he missed a shift on the start and fell back to six. He ran there for the first half of the race and ran as high as fifth. In the second half of the race, he suffered another bad restart, but was able to stay inside the top 10, eventually bringing home a 12th place finish in his debut. Let's get Grant's take on his Cars Tour debut. What's going on guys, Grant here. So, uh, rough, rough weekend, but uh, overall, you know, wasn't, wasn't a bad weekend. Uh, so, Saturday, yesterday, I made my, my car short debut at Dominion Raceway with Justin Johnson Racing. Had a really good car, um, was really good in practice, and uh, qualified fourth, so that was really good for my first attempt, you know, in the in the car short. But I uh, took the green and just, you know, missed missed the first two shifts on the first two restarts, and that kind of just killed my race in the beginning. But uh, it was, it was rough because you know we made a whole lot of mistakes and we fell back and ended up finishing twelfth. Didn't didn't have a really good night, but uh, we learned a lot. We made some mistakes, and you know it it kills me because I know a lot of those guys are racing for points, and we we tore some stuff up, but you know we kept our car clean. But, uh, you know, rough night, made some mistakes, and, and learned a lot of lessons. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll move on from, from, from this race and go to the next one. And uh, hopefully it gets better the next one. But I can't thank Justin Johnson Racing enough. Just, just everybody that helps out. And uh, we'll just we'll see if it goes better next time. Thank you, guys. I think he might be a little rough on himself, but he'll bounce back. His next car tour race will be at Wake County Speedway on August 14th. But up next for Grant, Pro Late Models SRL style at Kern County Raceway Park on June 26. Bryce Bizanson was at Hermiston Raceway for round four of the Northwest Super Late Model Series in his number seven, Jefferson Racing, Friends of Jacqueline Foundation Ford. Bryce qualified 12th for the 125 lap A main, moved into the top 10 on lap 34, and ended up with a seventh place finish. Up next for Bryce, South Sound Speedway on July 3rd. The June 26 race at Evergreen was canceled due to a tire shortage. Cassidy Hines was at Colorado National Speedway in her number three Friends of Jackman Foundation Pro Truck, where she qualified fifth and finished fourth even though she suffered some transmission issues. Let's check in with the driver for a post-race recap. Hi everyone, I raced my Matt Tools Pro Truck at Colorado National Speedway this weekend, and I feel like we had a pretty good night of racing. I qualified fifth and I finished fourth in the main after having some transmission issues, causing me not to shift or start on the restarts. I got to meet some amazing fans and I hope to meet some more soon. I would like to thank all of my sponsors, Frontier Restoration, Commit to Fitness, Fort Worth Screen Printing, Driven Race Gear, LL Acousticals, the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation, and Race Face Brand Development for all of their support and help. Up next for Cassidy, SRL Pro Late Models at Kern County Raceway on June 26. Gavin Graham was at Atlanta Motor Speedway for rounds four and five of the INEX Legend Thursday Thunder Series. It was his first outing with his new team, MPM. Gavin qualified fourth 
and finished in sixth on Wednesday and on Thursday for round five, he brought home a seventh place finish. Up next for Gavin, back to Atlanta Motor Speedway this Thursday for round six. Hudson Bulger was also at Atlanta Motor Speedway for rounds four and five of the U.S. Legend Cars Thursday Thunder Series. Hudson finished ninth on Wednesday and 11th on Thursday in the Young Lions division. Up next for Hudson, back to Atlanta for round six this Thursday. Other drivers seeing action this weekend include Connor Mozak, who returns to the Pirelli Trans Am TA2 Series at Mid-Ohio on June 26th and 27th. Brody Moore will be at Madera Speedway for round five of the 5150 Junior Late Model Series on June 26th. And Jake Bowman will be at Kern County Raceway in his SRL Pro Late Model on June 26th. Now Carter Whalen and Landon Cox will be at Northwest Ohio QMA for the USAC Toledo Quarter Midget Nationals. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite Race Face drivers. So go out there. Have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.